It's so odd. They just shipped them outside of the box. Yo everybody, this is Rock with the Great coming to you with another toy review. Or what I like to say on this channel is it's more than just a toy review. It's where we open up packages and then at the end of every toy review, we open up a pack of Pokemon cards or Dragon Ball Z cards or whatever I'm collecting at that moment. Today we'll be opening up some Pokemon cards, so I'm very excited for that. But I'm also very excited for this. We have the official Casey Jones Raphael 2 pack. Now I always said uh, this is a pack that like is my childhood. I, I remember them both from the movie vividly, and this scene was like a big scene for me. And I, if like I ever needed to just collect it, it would be just this set of the official. So I have this is real. And then, because uh, I'm not crazy or rich, I decided to buy the bootleg NECA figures from China, China. And uh, we are going to be, uh, I don't know why they shipped them out of the box. We are going to be going over. Uh, we're going to be reviewing the bootleg ones, see if it's worth your money to save, because they, um, they are significantly cheaper. And we're going to see if it's worth your money, and we're going to compare them to the real ones, and also just do a review of everything. It's so odd. They just shipped them outside of the box. I guess it saved them money. They squished them all up. Uh, the boxes actually look pretty, like, on point compared to... Yeah, the, I would say, you know what, it's just a little bit brighter, um, but you really probably couldn't tell. Like, some normal person who's not a, like a, a crazy toy club, wow, they even have NECA logos and everything. Usually they take those off. So, yeah, there's, you could definitely tell that they're fake if you know what you're looking for. If not, you're getting tricked. All right, so first off, I have to just say, um, it, ooh, ooh, yeah, okay. Ooh, we got it, you gotta be careful. Now, first off, Everybody, if you ever buy bootlegs, always wash them. And definitely wash your hands afterwards. Let them soak, scrub them. They use factories. They use stuff in the factory that's probably not approved. It's not safe. Uh, dangerous chemicals. Oh, it's broken. Okay, so we have, uh, this is broken on this side. That's cut. So the uh, knee pad is cut on this, on his knee. Um, so that's something. I mean, you're gonna get quality issues, I'm sure, when you're buying uh, the bootlegs, right? You're not paying the full price. Yeah, definitely, ooh, be careful, be careful. I'm definitely gonna wanna wa heat these up and wash them for sure. But um, I have to admit, I do think the quality is pretty good. The paint is like a little off. Um, you know what they look like? They look like the uh, movie figures from that time when the movie did come out and they had those like those boil pimple things on them. You guys know the t those like super detailed like four inch TMNT movie figures. You guys don't know what I'm saying. I'm sure someone knows. They had those like weird dots on them and uh, yeah it just feels like warped like you're gonna want to heat this up but I have to admit like I have to say I, I am liking it for what I paid. I think we paid like 60 bucks for all of them shipped. So I, that's like not a bad price. Again, like uh, NECA should have, NECA should make the turtles always be able to be found. Like if I walk into the store, there should be a set of NECA turtles so I could go pick up their other characters from the other lines. You know how many uh, times I've held off on other characters because I wasn't able to find the original turtles. You need the turtles first. Um, so he, each of them come with different hands that you could actually interchange. So I have to say the hands are very well painted. They got like the little details and nails. Like the nails are painted, the palms are painted. These might be just factory rejects, not necessarily 100% bootleg. I mean, they are using the mold and everything. Um, you know, the accessories could be painted a little bit. I'm gonna compare them to the official, but these look like a little bootleg, but again, I have to compare them to the official. They might actually look just like that. That's the fun thing about comparisons. And then they all come with pizza and their respective weapons. So I'm gonna clean this section up. We're gonna open up the KC2 pack and actually do some comparisons. Let's go. All right, guys, let's open this up. Um, oh, this was opened up. All right, so the guy scam. The guy sent me a repackaged, bro. Oh, come on, repackaged, bro. It, everything better be good. Everything better be good on this. Oh man, I can't even do anything because it's been so long. I've been waiting to open this for so long. Sending me a repackaged figure, man. You listen. 
buying in store, buying online, everything's a nightmare. Everything is a freaking nightmare. Um, there, okay, so there is a, a difference of the turtles right away. Like I could see the difference of the turtles right away. Uh, I'm gonna take everything out and we're gonna take a closer look at them. All right, so Casey comes with a ton of stuff. I, I did not even think he came with this much stuff. Uh, luckily, I don't think anything's broken. I'm checking the repackage. He's a little loose, his legs are a little loose, but uh, it's okay. I do like the double jointed elbows compared to the newer one that we're getting an ultimate Casey Jones. I will pick that up if I ever see it. I probably won't, so that's why I'm glad I picked this set up. And like I was saying, if I were to have just one of these turtles official, it would be Raph. So, uh, oh, it sounds so wrong. Raphael, Ralph. Um, he comes with, uh, what is it, this hockey stick? Then he, This is like a... Uh, another type of stick, isn't this like the cricket, like that thing, and then he comes with these sticks, and a ton of, a ton and ton and ton of hands, look at this, he has a ton of hands, he has a golf club, and the golf club holder, and then he has double jointed elbows, not double jointed knees, but his knees get a decent range of motion. I'm all for articulation over any type of looks. If I wanted statues, I would buy statues. So that's always where I stand. Like, I don't care if they say, oh, well, it makes the, the sculpt look ugly. I don't care. I'm buying an action figure, not a statue. I want to play with it. I want to do toy photography with it. Guys, if you're interested, I started posting my toy photography again on my main Instagram, at rockwithgreat. If you want to follow me there, that'll be fun. Now let's get enough with Casey. We're going to be seeing a lot of him. Let's get to what everybody's here for. Let's compare the official with the unofficial. This is the unofficial, this is the official, and you could, there's so many differences already. So first off, it's very dark, which again is not so, like they are pretty dark in the movie, so you can get away with these. It just could be like a different thing. Uh, they're, they're just their beak. Their lip, the top lip is a little bit like tr too dry brush, brushed, but honestly, on camera, you can't actually can't even tell. Um, let me see. Yeah, underneath we got, yeah, okay, so it's a lot more, um, it's just a lot more detailed. So if you don't really care, uh, it's a lighter color, it's a lot more detailed. This definitely does look really good. Like, you could see the quality of this. I don't even want to take his jacket off because this looks hard to take the jacket on and off. Um, let me see him with the hat on. Look at that. He's got his little hat on. I love the disguise wrap. Um, let's take a look at the accessories, though. So, he has the Psy. And, okay, no, I was saying the Psy looked cheap. And it honestly, like, looks almost identical to the... Like, you wouldn't... You couldn't tell the difference. Um, so that's interesting. And then the pizza, the pizza, actually, the bootleg pizza looks nicer. It's all, it's like darker. This is the bootleg. This is the, yeah, the bootleg pizza actually looks, well, you know what? It looks like burnt. This, they both look good. So there you go. Um, yeah, th this is just a normal figure. You guys know about this. Definitely the quality is there, obviously. You know, you could just feel, like, you know when there's a bootleg figure. This is just quality. Alright guys, now don't go anywhere before you leave. What we do at the end of all my toy reviews is we open up a pack of cards. And uh, we still have some Chilling Rain left over, even though there's new sets out. We are going to open this right now. I did get the Electrode, thanks to a viewer of the channel actually sent one in. Ooh, white code card, that is good. So what we're going to do is, four to the front. Uh, everyone hit that like button, please hit the like button. Think about becoming a channel member. Channel memberships really help the channel out. Any support you guys can do, hit the like button, share this out, tag your friends, let your people know about my videos. So let's flip this over and let's see what we got. All right, guys, you think we're going to get a really good card? Hologram, uh, full art. We got more gloves, Vic. We got more gloves, Vic. Oh, my God, the gloves are ridiculous. Let's see. Lapras. Deerling, slow. I like uh, Slowpoke. I like the uh, Slowpoke coughing Yan mask. All right, that's the reverse. And uh, okay, I don't hate the hologram, but this is not what we're looking for, guys. 
Uh, that's the little uh, little squirrel thing with the nuts in its mouth. Hey, oh, thanks for watching, guys. Stay great. Make sure everybody hit that like button, share this out, and remember, good luck on your toy hunts. Peace, guys. Guys, we're at the P.O. box right now, and we have the biggest box. So what the heck is in here? Let's check this out. Oh, yeah, baby. Hey there. Want to send something into the channel? Well, I have a P.O. box. Everything gets opened up on camera. Guys, let me break in here and just let you guys know about my channel memberships. Say you like the channel, you want to help support, or you just want more content, becoming a channel member unlocks hours and hours and hours of exclusive content that is just for my channel members. Think about becoming one and shout out to all the people who are channel members. The link is down below in the description. You want to become a channel member. It'll explain everything. It's as low as $5 a month. Every little bit helps. It all goes back into the channel to give you guys more content.